Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Max, back today with another Dead by Daylight video, and today we're going to be doing a funny little thing. It's going to kind of maybe tilt my uh, the people I might be in the lobby with, but I wanted to see how fast I can get out of the game. Like, how fast I can just get out of the game. So I'm going to be running no mither so that I can basically go down in one hit. Premonition so that when I look at the killer, I can go towards him because I know I see him. And Spine Shovel will also help if the killer's looking at me. Um, so I can just know when the killer is and that he can he knows that he can get me down in one hit with no mither. And I'm basically going to force the killer to tunnel me so my survivors, my friends, friends that I'm going to be loading into a lobby with can, um, you know, and just see, we'll just see how it goes. If you haven't already, if you've been seeing my videos recently, uh, leave a like and subscribe on this channel. It would mean a lot to me if you like Dead by Daylight content in this manner. And uh, I also started a new series called uh, GG's Only. We're currently already about to be recording for episode three. So join the Discord uh, for more information on that. And uh, yeah, let's get into the game. All right, McLean Estate again. We're going to be going straight for the killer. Just see how fast we can... Um, see how fast we can get down. Oh, I was supposed to start a timer on my phone, but... Oh, premonition. So the killer should be over this way. Oh, it's Rafe. Where is he? Wait, where did he go? Oh, man, I can't see him. Bro. I guess we'll just be able to tell by the... Uh, Oh, there he is. He's in the building here. Go for me! There we go. <laughs> I'm the worst teammate there is. Okay. They're trying to tank hits for me. Oh! Actually, I shouldn't be wiggling. Alright. And we're going to... Struggle to escape. Uh, and basically, we're just going to spectate afterwards. Is he going to camp me? No, he's not. Am I a terrible teammate for this? Probably. Try one more time. Okay. So I, we're just going to go based on the length of the video. And then I'll just spectate the rest of the game, I think. Actually, I shouldn't be hitting these skill checks. That was a bad, bad mistake by me. Could have been faster. My teammates are probably like, well, this guy fucking sucks. In which case, they would be right. I do suck. Somebody else is already down. Oh, they're trying to save me! They're like, you're not gonna die, buddy! They probably think I'm like, I'm a noob Jake. I mean, I kinda am, though. Alright, so premonition activated. They're all tanking hits! Oh, he dropped him. Ooh! Alright, I'm gonna crawl into the basement. Okay, I'm dead. GG's. So that was probably like, what, about a minute and a half, two minutes? Okay. GG's. Oh, they got him up. <laughs> they have zero gins. Two people are injured, though, so this is probably going to be a tough game for them. I kind of feel like a piece of shit, but it's just a game. It's just a funny video that I wanted to try. Um, so, stop the timer. About a minute and a half, I was out of the game. As soon as he picked me up, I was out of the game, though. So let's spectate real quick. See how they do. Alright, so homie's working on a gen. Other homie's getting chased. And other homie is uh, running in between some rocks. Ooh, the jukes. Hagrid with the jukes. Ooh. Didn't see the pool of the blood there. Now I'm curious to just see if they get out. If they can get out with three people with five gens up. Ooh, nice dead hard. Ooh. He's going to go down here, though. Yep. This Wraith isn't 100%. Oh, I would not be doing totems right now, my guy. Oh, man. You need to be doing gens. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, this is, this is pretty much GG. I mean, there's really no coming back from me sacrificing myself. Well, they might get a couple gens done, though. Rift's checking lockers, which is interesting. This guy keeps walking off gens so quick. He's going for the save. I don't know if I'd be going for the save while you're injured, but... Sure. Oh, my 
my god. I feel terrible. I'm never gonna do this again. This was a horrible idea. He's get he's gonna get there though. He's gonna get there. This guy's on zero hooks too, so maybe that's why he's doing it. He definitely found him though. Ooh, borrowed time! He's got this dude's definitely a veteran. Look at him. Iron will, borrowed time, deliverance. I don't even know what that last one is. Detective tap. Is that detective tap? I think so. Getting the gen done. Oof. Rafe is just putting everyone down. Oh, GG's, GG's. I think I think Rafe has Jolt, looks like. Very common. Beginner killer perk. Oof. This guy gonna get him up. Use your med kit, bruh. There you go. Coming in for the save. Not gonna be getting a double hook here. <clears throat> and he's going for the full heal, too. Looks like the other day was going to be entering the second hook stage, though, which is not too good. Rafe is going to be moving in, trying to secure an easy 4K, which he probably will, given that my dumbass. Oh, did he see him behind? The, he did. He saw him behind the tree. Ooh, detective tap, not... New to the game whatsoever. Getting stuck on the door there, though. <sighs> Gonna be an easy down for the Rafe. This dude is still on hooks. So that means this dude has to go for the save. And uh, easy snowball effects here going with the three survivors left. Um, there is not much hope for them with three, uh, four gens still up. And they're at a mere three hook states that they can afford to lose. Um, yeah, this is not good whatsoever. Um, I have no idea what that perk is. I can't wait to find out in the end game, because this dude's running detective's hunch, prove thyself, plunder's instincts, and deliverance. Uh, and this dude's running dark sense, lightweight, dead hard, and another common survivor perk. I think. Wraith coming out of cloak. Gonna see if he can get a cheeky down here real quick. He probably will be able to, but I think he makes it to the window. He does. We have all survivors on the field now. The Wraith is losing his snowball potential. It looks like he might make it to the window again, and he does! It might be enough to put the Wraith on tilt, but he will be caught out here soon. It's only a matter of time. The Wraith can catch people will close the distance with his bell. He just has to use his power. This is David, though. Not his first game as Survivor. Gonna be juking this killer. Ooh, he stayed there a little bit too long. He might be going down. Ooh, with the Wraith with the whiff, though! This is gonna be huge for David. His dead heart is back. Which means he can dead hard if he knows he can. He doesn't have it. Oh my god, he doesn't realize he has it. It looks like this other survivors are working on a generator. They might actually be able to bring this game back. Oh my god. The Wraith lost David for a second. Another gen pops. Wraith is starting to get a little bit tilted as you can see. David going for a chest like a true badass. These other survivors need to probably heal Detective Tap, but they're going to go for another generator repair. Looks like the Wraith did find them, and he's going to be going for Detective Tap, who is injured and already on one hook. I think Detective Tap is going to be going down here as he's caught out in the open. Oh, another whip by the Wraith, and he's going to get the vault. Oh, my God. The Wraith, easy 4K, is slowly turning into a maybe 2 or 3K. Oh, but he looks like he did catch out um, Hagrid. Oh, walking right past him, Hagrid, with the plays. He thinks he's in the snowman. Oh, my God. They might be able to get this gen done if they get a good enough skill checks. Oh my goodness. He is going to be catching him out here behind this box here eventually. And he does go down, giving them enough time to probably pop this gen easily. The good thing about that is, though, he does not have any hooks yet. Dude, I could literally be a shotcaster for DVD survivor play. Bro, come on. If I could see what the killer was doing too, though, oh, that'd be huge. Although they did get a hook very close to the gym, but they do get to pop it in time. Two gins left to be completed. The Wraith coming in, he still has to uncloak. Looks like he will be going for the David, though, which is kind of an interesting play, given that the David still had a health state, I thought at least. They do get the save on Hagrid. He is currently broken. It looks like he is going to be tunneling here as he's getting a little bit of tired of these survivors outplaying him. Uh, so let's see what Haggard has. No pallets. Might be a dead zone. Oh, there is a pallet here. Will he get there in time? He does! Ooh, the pre-drop. Wraith gonna be breaking that pallet there. Detective Tab going for a, a chest. Probably not the most optimal thing he could be doing. David trying to stay on the gin. And Haggard trying to loop this killer, but it looks like he will be going down. Not that big of a deal, though, as he does have one more hook stage. 
Detective Tab getting a flashlight, which is not going to be jack shit. Going into the locker. Yikes, dude. Looks like Detective Tab might be the downfall of this team as Hagrid does enter his second hook state and on hook. Uh, but he might be able to get out with Deliverance. Um, I don't think... I don't know if that works, though. I don't, I'm not 100% on how Deliverance works, to be honest with you. Uh, David's trying to stay headstrong on this gen, which is probably the right play. He did find himself a key, which he probably will be using. Uh, Detective Tap looks like staying on the gen, and they're going to swap out for David, who's going to be trying to go for the save here. Unfortunately, it looks like David is exhausted and does not have his dead hard. Oh, wait, never mind. Yes, he does. Oh, my God. He might be able to make an epic dead hard play here. Does he know he has dead hard? Does he know he has dead hard? Ooh, he does! With the whiff on the Wraith, it's going to be enough time to get to the vault. The Wraith getting sick of this dead hard, but Hackard is nearly dead on hook. Someone's going to have to help David with this save, and it's going to have to be Detective Tap, but it looks like he's going to commit to the gin here, and Hagrid will be out of the game, because I don't think anyone can get to him at this point. That's going to be GG for Hagrid. Detective Tap trying to dodge the Wraith here, and it looks like he's going to do so. Huge plays. Oh, another whiff from the Wraith is going to be allow him to run him a little bit longer, but Shaq Pallet is gone and has been gone, and David will be going out of this game, and he is the one who had key. Uh, so all Rafe has to do is send him to the basement. We could see Detective Tab get a cheeky hatch here, though, if he's lucky. Uh, he might not be so lucky, though. Yeah, it looks like he is down and out of the game. And um, he is going to have to find a lucky hatch here if he has any, or even a snowball's chance of getting out of here, especially being injured. And he's not running any cheeky perks like Gnome either or Iron Will to lessen his grunts of pain or his blood pools. So it looks like it's going to be up to Detective Tap here. Oh my god, and he does find Hatch, the luckiest Hatch spawn of all time, and he's going to be teabagging the Hatch, waiting for the Wraith to come get him. Oh my goodness. What a play by Detective Tap, who ended up hiding in the locker, and he's going to be flashlight clicking even, taunting the Wraith even more. What a game. What a game, dude. Oh my goodness. And he's going to be just sitting on top of the Hatch until the Wraith can come get him. He, hopefully he doesn't get too cocky. Uh, as the Wraith might be able to somehow pull a silent approach if he steps off Hatch for too long. Uh, yeah, I don't think the Wraith knows that the Hatch is over here whatsoever. I think he's just kind of patrolling the map at this point. Maybe he's even patrolling the Exit Gates, uh, which would be an interesting play. But um, Oh, there he is! And he does get the Hatch. GG's for Detective Tap, who inevitably uh, did make it out. So I got a whole 557 blood points from this match. Um, and I did lose a pip, which is always good. Um, so let's see what that perk was. Oh, Blast Mine. Is that what that was? Oh, uh, okay. The pre uh, the Wraith, not a new killer either. Using Noed, Predator. <laughs> well, Bloodhound is kind of a rough perk, because so is Shadowborn. But, um, using a couple of decent add-ons. So, again, uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, if you want to see more Shoutcast videos like this, where I play Survivor and kill myself immediately, just to see how the game goes... Let me know. It was kind of fun. Um, if you guys enjoy all that, though, leave a like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Later.